What's up guys, it's your girl Kay and I'm back with another video. We are in Coney Island right now and we're about to get this spray thing going. I mean, I don't know, I haven't played this game in so long and I also think the game be cheating. But we out here just, you know what I'm saying, we've been working hard lately so we're just trying to, um, you know, do some self care, you know what I'm saying, take care of the self, we'll take care of the self, you know what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, we just playing and interacting with the kids for a little bit. We only had Faith and Carter, so I mean Faith and Cairo, Carter's with his dad, um, and the rest of the kids went out. So these two we had, and we decided let's go take them. We were actually supposed to go to the boardwalk, then we ended up here. But yeah, let's see how this game goes. On your mark. Anybody else? Anybody else ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You guys ready? Yeah. On your mark. Get set and go, go, go. Aim to the hole, first one to the top. Baby number nine is winning this race. Three's coming on, eight's coming on. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Winner, 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 winner. That was close. They cheated. Looky, looky, looky. You guys ready to play a family that plays the United States. Check out. I finally found my elote lady. We're making it good over here. We're making it good. We're making it great. What? Yeah. Yeah. Get that? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Can y'all tell that I have more fun than the kids at this amusement park? I just love it. What's up, guys? You're okay, and I'm back with another video. You already know what it is. Your girl's on her journey to 10K. Yes, I said it. Anyways, guys, it's early in the morning, and guess what? I woke up. And I was so excited because I was like, oh, y'all been leaving comments. Y'all been liking my videos. Let me go check it out. Your girl didn't even have the monetization button clicked. Like, what's up with me? Like, what's up with me lately? I don't mind working for free for y'all because I love y'all. But, like, come on. We can't be doing that. So, I'm automatically in a bad mood. No, I'm not. I'm in a good mood because it's so sunny outside. But I am really, really mad about that. But I'm going to post some footage today because y'all know y'all like traveling with me or whatever who is that I want daughter. anyways babe you say that and every video really love her, would say, Take just jazzy to the... no stop. yo wait. every time anyways like i was saying i don't know what they talking about can't hear nothing hear no evil speak no evil see no evil speak no evil hear no evil but um oh shit that's me I was getting the shower that I realized I needed footage, so guys, just help me out. Help me out. Help me out. If it's the last thing I do, I'm gonna teach you how to stop So what I was telling y'all is that I gotta work today. So that's what that mean. Overtime, because I gotta go to the barbershop too. But we gonna get this money or whatever. How y'all doing? I seen y'all messages, right? I know y'all said the most important thing to y'all is the kitchen. Guys, the kitchen is cute to me. The most important thing for me is having a little space as a little space. Like, you know, a little boom boom room. You know what I'm saying? A little something. Because uh, I need a little space for me to just escape to sometimes. I need a, uh, a little space for me to do my work or whatever. And so, like, that's the most important thing to me. The kitchen is cool. I do I, I do think I'll cook more if the kitchen is bigger and, like, like big. Because um, I'm claustrophobic. So small spaces, I really get really bad anxiety in. But other than that, like, yeah. Oh, having a, a little yard too is kind of like something that I'm really interested in because obviously got a big dog. Guess what? I heard y'all say speedy recovery to Tommy. Then he didn't even get nothing done. Let me tell y'all what happened. So I went all the way to the place, all the way to Queens. Let me tell you what I did before that. First of all, I went to the barbershop. I went back home, went all the way to Queens, went to work, right? Went home, got Tommy, rushed to take Tommy to this appointment because I thought he was going to be late. Wasn't late. Got there a whole hour early. Knocked on the door. Nobody's there. I said, all right, maybe I'm just too early. Called. Nobody answered. I said, all right, maybe I'm in the long, wrong location. So I emailed. I hit them on Instagram. I did mad stuff because I'm like, yo, what's going on? At 4.18, his appointment was at 4 o'clock. 3 o'clock, I was doing all this stuff. At 4.18, they called me and they like, oh, you missed your appointment. From the same number that I have been calling for the last 35 minutes. I'm like, yo, how do y'all call me 
from the same number I've been calling and leaving voicemails on to tell me that I missed my appointment. If you had answered the phone, I could have made it to my appointment. But I think it's a scam because what I realize is that, number one, they take your money beforehand. And then they tell you they're going to call you. They don't tell you when they're going to call you. That's number one. How you take my money and tell me I'm going to schedule your appointment um, in a few weeks? I schedule, I, I paid that money a month ago. Yeah, I scheduled my appointment um, for, for this Saturday at 4. Never gave me an address. And when I asked for an address, he said refer to the paperwork that they gave me a month ago. So when I'm on the phone at 418 and he called me and told me I, I, I missed my appointment, he says, I told you to refer to the paperwork, um, the business card they gave you on the paperwork that you got a month ago. Sir, you called me. I never knew you, you was about to call me for me to even have a business card prepared. So when he called, I specifically asked for the address because I knew they gave me that paperwork a month ago. So I did not know what was on that paperwork. He's talking about there was a business card attached to the paperwork. There was no business card when I got to the paperwork that was in my glove compartment. I got I got the paper from them, put it in my glove compartment, and never touched it since. So I went to the address that was on the paperwork, which was the Horace, Horace Expressway, something like that in Queens, because that was the only address on that paperwork. He was not specific. He said, refer to the stuff, the paperwork you got when you went. So I get there, he's telling me, oh, it's your fault. You can't too because you're not here. I'm explaining to him the situation, and he, he hangs up the phone. Not only did he hang up on the phone with me once, he hung up on the phone with me like three times. And I'm like, yo, this, he's being mad rude. The first time I called, I was literally just saying what happened. I was trying to explain to him what happened. I was trying to explain to him that I just, it was a misunderstanding. I asked you for the address. You told me to refer to the paperwork. Paperwork had this address and I'm here. He hung up with me three times and was mad rude. So then I'm calling him back to let him know I want my refund. You know what they told me? They said, yo, you're not getting a refund, a full refund because you can't too. I paid $342. They refunded me two seventy five. Like, how does that work? So I think it's a scam, and I come to the conclusion that I want to know if anybody else ever went there and had this problem. Because y'all took my money, y'all didn't answer the phone, y'all called after my appointment, y'all refunded me and kept more than the fifty dollars. Let me know in the comments down below if y'all had that experience before. Oh, the name of the place is Low Cost Vet Mobile. The location was one fifty nine nineteen Horace. Horace Expressway or something like that. Long story short, is in Queens in the low cost um the low cost pet the low cost the, 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 the low cost vet mobile is only one in Brooklyn anyway. So y'all know what I'm talking about if y'all ever seen low cost vet mobile truck. It's only one. They in Queens. They had several locations, but they closed all of them. And yeah, so if you ever got your dog neutered and your cats, I mean your dog neutered or spayed, let me know. In the comments down below, let me know if you experienced that. Let me know if you think it was a scam. Because I should be talking to somebody about the rest of my money. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video like always. Give the video a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. Hold on. We're going to pause real quick. Let me get him on the sinus. I want y'all to go right now. Go right now and click that notification bell. Because I'm tired of y'all telling me y'all ain't know I posted a video. Go right now. Click that notification bell. So y'all can be notified when I post a video. Because y'all already know I'm on a random day thing. You know what I'm saying? I don't know when I'm going to post. Tell a friend to tell a friend. K score. <laughs> Listen. Join the wave. It's a real sub mom. It's a, it's a, it's a real sub mom.